you are curious about these deities, this video is for you, especially if you're open-minded. If you are closed-minded and you operate along with other sheeple, this video is not for you. All right, so according to Sumerian mythology, around 4,500 before consciousness, before Christ, these Anunnaki gods or deities were on planet X or planet Nibiru, or Nibiru, however you want to pronounce it. Mind you, Anu and Kai originated from Anu being the most wise god and most innovative and the leader of all of them. On top of that, Kai was his wife. Therefore, Anu and Kai mixed together Anunnaki, the children of the heavens and earth. Their planet was basically, it wasn't flourishing no more. Therefore, it was dying and they needed more gold to get this, the plantation to flourish and all that. So they needed to find another civilization to do the work for them because they were lazy. Mind you, on these ships, the Anunnaki brought the another extraterrestrial race named the Ijiji or Igigi, however you pronounce it. So they brought them here to do the work for them by extracting gold from our planet and to make them do the dirty work that the Anunnaki should have been doing, but therefore they did not want to do the labor. Mind you, history repeats itself, so that's the same slave reform that we went through as well and still go through. The Ijiji were tired of working for them, and mind you, they stood up and revolted against the Anunnaki, which were giants. Therefore, the Anunnaki was not going for that, so they obliterated the Ijiji. Therefore, there was no extract of them anymore, and the Anunnaki were not going to extract this gold, so they needed another race to do the work for them. So Nibiru's ruler, Anu, ordered his son, Inki, to genetically engineer another human race or an another civilization to do the work for them. By this, Inki went through many errors and trials. Therefore, the Nephilim came about because these Anunnaki leaders were mating with or interbreeding with humans. But yes, therefore, we have Anunnaki blood and Homo sapiens. So therefore, when Inki was successful, the Homo sapiens came about. And this is where we were able to flourish in the Garden of Eden or Iduru. And what's crazy, the first man was Adamu. If you translate that to Hebrew, that is Adam. So therefore, yeah. Mind you, they began to like us, but we were still slaves to them. We had to avod or worship our God. So by them doing this, they were ordering us to do what we were told and not procreate so much. But of course, we don't listen. So as us not listening, we were banished from the Garden of Eden, which was our safety city. So many of us were exiled, and this is where jealousy and envy came about. This is not all the information, by the way. There is way more. Planet Nibiru, which means destroyer, or if you watch Marvel, Galactus, came into orbit, which comes into orbit 3,600 years into our solar system. And the Great Doze, or the Great Flood, happened because of this planet. And the gravitational pull was so strong, this is where this flood happened. Like for part two, man, because yeah.